Mehul is sitting in his office. Looking worried and lost in his thoughts, he turned his chair towards his colleague Jaya. He tells her that he has got stuck. Jaya asks, what happened? Mehul says he has a pending credit card bill of 60,000 rupees. He has been making the minimum payment for months, but it has not reduced. Jaya says it's not going to reduce like this. Companies charge interest and penalty on the pending amount. Mehul was only paying the same amount over and over again. Mehul then asks, what should he do? He cannot figure it out. Jaya advises him to convert it into EMIs. Mehul asks, can he pay the credit card bill in an EMI? What is it and how can he do it? To pay credit card bills, people usually make minimum payments like Mehul because they probably do not know that they can pay through EMI by dividing the credit card bill into installments. The customer can also choose the period of payment of the bill. But it is not that the EMI option will only be 100% beneficial. It is also expensive. So should Mehul choose the EMI route? Credit card dues are unsecured loans which are quite expensive. If Mehul is unable to arrange money from anywhere, then he can opt for EMI option by breaking the bill into smaller amounts. But he should choose this option only when he will be able to repay this amount. Be it a credit card company or a bank, interest will also be levied on this EMI, but this interest will be less than the interest charged on the outstanding amount. If the interest on credit card dues is levied in the range of 24 to 48%, then the interest on EMI amount will be in the range of 15 to 24%. Now the question is, what will be the benefit of the EMI option? Mehul is still making a minimum payment every month which includes interest and penalty amount. Mehul's credit score is not getting worse because he is making the minimum payment but outstanding amount continues to pile up against his name. The interest meter on the dues will continue to run. In such a situation, if the full limit of the card is utilized, then Mehul will land in the danger zone. Full utilization of the credit limit means that the credit utilization ratio is high. It spoils the civil score as well. The effect of this will be that Mehul will have trouble getting a loan in the future. At the same time, if Mehul opts for EMI, then he will be reducing his debt by paying the outstanding amount. If he keeps paying regular EMIs without any delay, he will avoid making default. First of all, credit card अगर आप यूज़ करते हैं तो कोशिश करिए कि पूरी पेमेंट आप इसके जो निर्धारित समय है उसके अंदर कर दें एंड इन फुल लेकिन कभी कभी देखा गया है कि लोग क्रेडिट कार्ड का इस्तेमाल ज़्यादा अमाउंट के लिए कर लेते हैं पूरा लिमिट यूज़ कर लेते हैं और फिर पेमेंट में दिक्कत आती है यदि आप इसके चंगुल में फंस गए हैं तो इससे बेहतर होगा कि आप एक पर्सनल लोन ले लें और वो पर्सनल लोन आपको 16 से 20 परसेंट के ब्याज में मिलेगा और वो पर्सनल लोन लेके आप ये क्रेडिट कार्ड का जो बकाया है आप लमसम पे कर दें उसको और वो जो पर्सनल लोन आपने लिया है वो ईएमआई के तौर पे आपका चलेगा पर ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम उसे पे कर दें इफ मेहुल इज सक्सेसफुल इन पेइंग ऑफ हिज डेट ही शुड लर्न फ्रॉम इट इन द फ्यूचर Use your credit card according to your ability. Maintain discipline during shopping. Do not use the entire credit limit. Choose the option of minimum payment and EMI only when necessary. And do not make this a habit.